Sean O'Malley versus Chris Matinho took place to open up the main card of UFC 264, Poirier versus McGregor Free. And I know the main event ended in such an interesting way, and that's all everyone's going to be talking about. But Sean O'Malley versus Chris Matinho cannot go under the radar. What an amazing fight to watch. The ultimate skill of Sean O'Malley versus the ultimate toughness of Chris Matinho. I mean, Chris Matinho, his stock is going way up after a really bad loss in all honesty, he got really badly tuned up every single round, embarrassed in the cage, completely schooled in every way whatsoever. Maybe he landed a couple of shots here and there, but Sean O'Malley was just all over him, broke the significant strike record per round in UFC history, which we'll get to in a second. No one's mentioning that yet, but Sean O'Malley, I know it was against Chris Matinho and he's not the best opponent compared to Holloway against Calvin Qatar, but Sean O'Malley literally just broke the strike record per round in UFC history, which is crazy, and we'll get to that, but let's talk about Chris Matinho. Absolute toughness, definitely deserves a contract with the UFC. He was going to get one anyway, but now definitely increases pay or something like that, because the guy showed up, and he said in the Embedded episodes, earlier this week, he came out and said, right, I don't know if I'm going to win. He literally said these words, I don't know if I'm going to win. I don't know what's going to happen out there, but I'm coming for fighter tonight. And that's exactly what he did out there. He went out there, tucked his chin, walked forward, tried to pressure down Sean O'Malley. And in all honesty, people are going to give no credit to Sean O'Malley here. O'Malley's output did not slow down in any way. There were some moments where he took a couple of deep breaths. But to throw that much into all of his shots, really trying to KO Chris Matinho, breaking a significant strike record. Listen, Holloway was barely touching Qatar with some of the shots. Little tap-tap shots, a couple of big ones mixed in there as well. Sean O'Malley did not slow down in any way. And I think that deserves some kind of credit as well because his cardio is on another level in all honesty. He kept going. Matinho continued to walk him down. And I'll give more praise to Matinho in a second because he does deserve it. But Sean O'Malley's cardio is ridiculous. He was throwing head kicks, spinning back kicks, spinning wheel kicks, flying knees on Chris Matinho, big overhand shots trying to KO Matinho out cold, even dropped Matinho at one point in the fight as well and looked like he might have got a finish by guillotine in one of the rounds. Um, it was just madness how Almali kept the pace up. I really don't understand, but Chris Matinho, man, absolute warrior toughness, definitely deserves a position in the UFC. I think he gained everyone's respect after that loss. Everyone thought he was going out there to get KO'd in the first round. I thought he was going out there to get KO'd in the first round. I thought this was an absolute sacrificial lamb for the slaughter. O'Malley gets a nice win on the McGregor card, and they build up his name and do him versus a ranked opponent next. But no, it was a TKO, and we'll talk about that as well. Why, Herb Dean? On a real why... I understand because I get the idea of stopping the Gaethje versus Ferguson fight. He's taken too much damage. He's not going to win. He keeps taking shots over and over and over again. But when you literally have how many seconds left of the round? 27 seconds. He has made it his decision in his brain to say, I'm not going to get KO'd. I'm going to walk down Sean O'Malley until I get to a decision. I don't care what happens on the scorecards. I am not getting KO'd by Sean O'Malley. And in all honesty... He was robbed of his big moment, which would have been making it to a decision, embracing with Sean O'Malley afterwards, because O'Malley was very respectful for Chris Matinho afterwards, and he is really tough and deserves O'Malley's respect. They would have hugged it out afterwards. O'Malley, Matinho, walking around the cage, hands up in the air, like Bokniak versus the beat, if you remember that fight at the end of it. Hands around each other, cheering, standing ovation from the crowd, scrapping till the very end. But no, he literally got robbed of going to a decision. I understand there is a president to stop those kind of fights because he was taking an unbelievable amount of damage. And we'll get to some of these stats in a second. I mean, he was being completely destroyed in that fight. Start to finish, he landed some good shots here and there, but nothing of any effectiveness whatsoever against Sean O'Malley. A couple of good leg kicks maybe, but no, Sean O'Malley was destroying him in that fight. Playing human punching bag with Chris Matinho, but give him the option to go to the decision. He made a decision, that's what he wanted to do. He could have gone down at the end of that first round and just taken the loss. But he made a decision. I am not being KO'd by Sean O'Malley. I refuse to let it happen. And he chose not to do that. And he didn't get KO'd because of it. 
But no, Herb Dean jumps in there randomly in round three. I get he's taking damage, but it's not like he was wobbly all over the place. He had a guard up. He was walking down O'Malley, trying to make something happen. Don't get the stoppage in any way, but either way, I understand he is taking a bit of da uh, brain damage. And people are going to say, oh, you don't understand CTE if you don't uh, agree with that stoppage. But then again, I think there's just something to say like... What would he have got hit by five more strikes in the last 20 seconds? Let him have his decision. You know what I mean? He's already taken the CTE. Let him have his moment at the end of it to get to a decision. In my opinion, he deserves his win bonus. If anyone does for a loss, sure, Chris Martino deserves payment for his win bonus. Ma'am, you think I'm joking about this? If I ever become a millionaire one day or some kind of billionaire with a whole bunch of money that I can just piss away on whatever I want, I'll start paying these guys their fucking win bonuses if they show up like that. I'd really like to do that with my life at some point, if I ever get to that level. But um, Sean O'Malley, Chris Martinho, great scrap. Let's talk about O'Malley's performance, though. Other than the toughness, other than the stoppage, O'Malley's wickedly fucking good. I understand it's Chris Martinho. I really understand. The guy is doing basketball drills in the middle of his fight. You have to admit, whatever you think about Sean O'Malley, whatever you thought about the opponent of Chris Martinho, Martinho showed up, he was tough. And Matinho has wins over 3-0 opponents and 5-1 and opponents in his career. He's not a journeyman, absolute job in can. He is a bad fighter that maybe didn't belong in the UFC. But, you can't deny, he was a tough fighter that was there to win against Sean O'Malley. And O'Malley looked... It's hard to give him praise because I know the situation is how it is. O'Malley broke the significant strike record on him. And he was winging bombs at him. Spinning, back kicking him. Over and over again. Smashing shots. Massive head kicks. Over and over and over again. And he still broke the significant strike record. Moving backwards the whole time. I liked this more than a one round KO. If O'Malley went out there and chinned this guy in round one. I think he would get less credit in all honesty. I actually preferred that Sean O'Malley was pushed. He was made to work. He was forced to work. Chris Martinho would not let him just get a free win, would not just go down on one knee and accept the TKO loss by shelling up on the ground. He literally went out there to make O'Malley work. And I'm so glad he did because we got to see another side of O'Malley. Wicked, wicked cardio over three rounds. Output beyond belief. He beat Holloway's output levels. And Holloway throws little bitty, bitty shots. A couple of shots to the body, a couple of jabs upstairs. O'Malley was winging big bombs. And he broke the strike record. I know it's against Chris Martinho, but he now holds that stat in the UFC. And no one's really talking about this. Uh, uh, Sean O'Malley outlanded Holloway per three rounds of strikes. In three rounds of strikes, Sean O'Malley outlanded Holloway by 10 significant strikes. Craziness. Round three, it shouldn't have been stopped, but he was tuning up Martinho. I love Sugar Show. I don't care what anyone says about the win, who it was against. Uh, Chris Martinho is a can. There is something about watching Sean O'Malley fight where it's just, oh, 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 oh. It's, other fights are like this. Oh, and nothing. And we've got another leg kick here and another punch to the face there. And another leg kick here and uh, another punch to the face there. But with O'Malley, it's literally, oh, 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 combo. Oh, 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 spinning back kick. Oh, 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 another five punch combination to the fucking face. He's ridiculously good. I know it was Chris Martinho, but he showed that he didn't belong in there with him, which was a great performance. And Sean O'Malley moved a good backwards. He took some good shots. Great head movement on the outside. Every time Chris Martinho got him against the cage, O'Malley would dip one way, zip the other way, get back to the center of the cage and start landing that front kick and that piston jab. Sean O'Malley looks great. Got a knockdown in the fight. A bunch of highlights for whatever he wants to do. And he made a call out afterwards. Called out Cody Garbrandt, Peter Yan, Dominic Cruz, Called out everyone, called out Fob Rontz for some reason. I don't know who that is. I guess Rob Font made a mistake there. Or maybe he was intentionally uh, making a mistake like Leon Scott, Leon Edwards. Acting like you don't know who they are. He called out a top five opponent. I don't think he's going to get a top five opponent. I think he's going to get Dominic Cruz. I reckon he will get Dominic Cruz. In all honesty. I don't think he'll... And I'll tell you this as well. I kind of think he'd chop up the legs of Cruz early and win and scoot around him a little bit. He's too rangy, I think. I know he just beat Chris Martinho and it's hard to really gauge how good he is. I think he would beat Dominic Cruz. If Casey Kenny can make it a split decision, remember Cruz is only getting older now. He's not getting better with age. He's only going to be older now than he was in the Casey Kenny fight. O'Malley's now going to be more active than him as well. I think O'Malley could actually take Cruz. And I know that sounds weird because it's Dominic Cruz, but... 
and Ali chopping up those legs, front kicks to the body, scooting around the outside. How's Cruz going to move around that? It's O'Malley. He moves around you. Craziness. O'Malley looks great. Chris Matinho, all the respect in the world. He's just blown up on Instagram, gained a bunch of followers. Good for him. Amazing performance by both. Chris Matinho was chopping at the legs. He was trying to make something happen. I wanted him to kind of shoot a takedown on Sean O'Malley, but he never did. I wish he kind of would have because that would have been interesting to see how O'Malley dealt with things on the ground. Maybe it could have been a good switch up of pace. Maybe O'Malley starts working some wrestling muscles. Now he starts to gas out a little bit more, but amazing stuff. And I cannot stress this enough. I might make a video on it tomorrow just reacting to it. O'Malley... I don't know what it's called. Crisscross, maybe? I'm just going to make up a name for it in basketball. He's literally doing basketball moves in the first round. Let me just put this in your fucking head. Sean O'Malley, if he loses, is completely fucking done. People said McGregor is done if he loses. The way he lost, he's not really done. He kind of is, but not really. He still has a chance to come back. Sean O'Malley, if he loses to Chris fucking Matinho is completely done he'll never hear the end of it for his entire career he was literally doing basketball dribbling techniques dribbling techniques in the middle of combinations punch punch through the legs through the legs round the waist punch punch I've never seen someone with this much charisma and confidence in the cage people talk about o'malley um people talk about conor mcgregor nick diaz their antics in the cage nick diaz laid down 10 feet away from anderson silver and got right back up afterwards conor mcgregor talked shit in the cage to a couple of people sean o'malley is switching fucking sports mid fight and mid combination in punching range with opponents i know it's chris matinho i understand but there's something about watching that guy fight. He's going to be a star. He just gained a bunch more followers. Made a great call out. Gave Moutinho some respect afterwards. Which I think was very good of him. Because he easily could have done what Poirier did. And just took all credit for it. And Well Poirier did win as well. But Sean O'Malley could have easily said. Yeah I schooled him like I told you I would. He could have been a very unlikable guy about it. But he gave Moutinho the respect. Got the fans to cheer him on a little bit. But man O'Malley is very very good. Take some time off. Definitely, because his shins are going to be very, very sore. He was slamming kicks into Matinho's shins, into Matinho's legs, into the body of Matinho, into the arms of Matinho, into the head of Matinho. Matinho just kept fucking taking them and walking forward like a zombie. But credit, man. Credit where it's due. Amazing fight from both. Chris Matinho, I don't know what's next for him, but someone in the UFC, I'm sure. Maybe Lewis Smolker. There's some kind of storyline there, no? I could actually maybe get a little bit amped for that fight on a fight night. Headliner of the prelims, Chris Matinho, Lewis Smolker. Let's match those two up together. And for Sean O'Malley, we're looking at maybe Dominic Cruz if he can get it. I doubt Dominic Cruz will take it because he said he's looking up the rankings. He just turned down Marlon Vera, who has a win over Sean O'Malley. So maybe he won't take O'Malley if he didn't take Marlon Vera. So I reckon O'Malley could be looking at a matchup with... Ricky Simone, maybe a Jack Shaw or something like that. Like some other guy that's close to the ranking area. I don't think that performance is going to get him a, a top 10 guy, in all honesty. Bantamweight division, Sean O'Malley is ranked number um, 23. He beat Chris Matinho. He's probably going to go to number 19 or 20. We're looking at Timo Valiev. We're looking at maybe Rafael Asuncao. That could be a fight that I could get behind. Rafael Asuncao, Sean O'Malley, a true veteran, a true test, maybe coming off a KO loss, don't get me wrong, and some bad performances, but you know what, getting back in there, he's still Rafael Asuncao, who holds a win over TJ Dillashaw, I think Asuncao versus O'Malley would be a great fight to have in November, on a pay-per-view card, amazing win, amazing performance by Moutinho, I can't stress that enough, I was so shocked by how fucking tough this guy was, and I thought eventually he would go down to body shots, O'Malley was winging shots to the body on him, it's not even like mental toughness in the head. Like, oh, he's just blessed with a good chin, I guess. He was getting ransacked to his body. Ignored it. Kept coming forward. I've got to make something happen. Respect, man. Straight up respect. I don't think anyone has no respect for him after that. He's gained so much in my book. Fucking absolute dog toughness. I hope they give him some kind of backstage bonus. If I was O'Malley and I was making 400k to fight that guy on short notice... I'd pay his 10k win bonus for him. I'd give him that 10k, I think. But like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Click that button up there. Toodle pip. I'll see you later.
Chris Matinho, I'm a fan, bro. Good win. Uh, not win, but you kind of won. If you could. Stoppage was a bit weird. You should have maybe had your moment by decision. But O'Malley is just... I mean, that could have been a 10-8 every round. It, it was probably going to be like a 30-24 decision. Like and subscribe. See you later. Toodle pip.